Hey guys, what's up? How are you doing today? I'm glad to have you here. Glad you're watching. Um, subscribe below, all that stuff. I, I'm a, what I'm here to talk about today is basically about some of the symbols that are going to be important for you to know about. Um, last time we were talking a little bit about, I think it was uh, melodic minor scales or something like that, and uh, basically a thought came to my mind that we should talk about some of these symbols. So we're just going to go over real quick in a, you know, brief detail, just a little bit about what these uh, what these symbols are. And I apologize if uh, I'm a little bit confused. I hope that this is actually recording right now. So first time doing an actual screenshot video. So right here, what we have is something that's going to be great for you to know about. It's a treble clef. A treble clef is basically for higher notes, right? If uh, you're playing an instrument like the piano, um, that the treble clef is all the notes that you'll play with the right hand, typically. Not all the time, but typically, okay? And uh, if you know anything about the keyboard and we've talked a little bit about it, um, typically what's on the treble clef is anything from C, like middle C on up will be on that. So that's kind of the treble clef. Uh, then the next, th the next clef that we have here, oh, and by the way, um, as far as uh, searching for images like this, I know I've said in the past that a lot of times, a lot of the information that you find online is kind of crappy, um, unless you're like, unless you know what you're looking for, right? <clears throat> so I know specifically what I'm looking for. I just search like there's a Google image search or, search or something. So, so yeah. So we've got the treble clef. Now what we've got here is the bass clef. Now the bass clef is is actually all the lower notes, you know, from middle C on down, right? So um, that's uh, typically all the lower notes. Sometimes it goes a little bit higher than middle C, and if you play the piano, those are the notes that you'll usually play with the left hand, typically, again. It's not all the time. So, And this is actually the treble clef, and it's on what we call uh, the, the staff. And this is uh, what we call bar lines, and these are actually spaces in between the bar lines. And again, these are bar lines. So, so that's uh, the bass clef, and the treble clef would be similar. It'd be kind of sitting on the bar lines like this. I'm sure I could find a picture of that, but I'm not going to, because I'm going to show it to you right now. Okay. So, if you look, <clears throat> this is a a treble clef, right, and it's on the bar lines and the staff. So. Okay, so now what this is, this is something that if you haven't seen it yet, I'm just showing it to you because that means you're not actually going to the blog post, which is fine. <clears throat> but what this is, is this is uh, the circle of fifths. We've talked a lot about the circle of fifths. And it's got all the, the major key signatures with their uh, minor equivalents. So C, to, C and A, uh, G and E. And then it's also got what we have, what we call the actual key signatures. So in G... What we have is we have one one sharp, right? And that's F. And uh, before we go any farther to that, I just want to show you um, sharps and flats and, and uh, double flats, a, a bunch of different stuff like that, okay? So this is what we call a sharp symbol. A sharp symbol is used for, you know, for any sharps, right? So if we're playing a D sharp, that's what it is. You put that next to it if you want to play D sharp. Um, for flats, we'll come over here. I think it's supposed to be showing my screen clicks. I don't know. So for flats, you come over here, and you've got uh, basically, I mean, the sharp symbol is kind of like a number sign. The flat symbol is basically like a B, um, but more like a heart with a line going into it. That's kind of what I think it looks like. And uh, the flat is if you want to basically play, this is a what they have here is a D flat, right? So that's the note a half step below D. So if you see this, so if you see this symbol, this flat symbol, then what you'll be playing is is a half step below the actual note D, right? If you see this, then you'll be playing a half step above the actual note. Now I want to show you something that's uh, really important for you to, not super super important, but it's going to be useful useful for you to know. And I just let's see if we can find. Okay, cool. All right. So right here, what we have is a double sharp. So when you just have 
uh, the one sharp, then that means that you raise it just one one half one half step, right? But if you have a double sharp, that means that you raise it two half steps. So that's just something that's really useful to, for you to know. This is what we call a double flat. Pretty self-explanatory. There's two of those Bs. So if you have this, you sh if you just have a let's see where is it again? If you have just one flat, then you'll only lower it one half step. But if you have two flats, then what you'll do is you'll lower that two half steps or a whole step, right? So that's super simple. Now, no matter what you have, if you have a double flat, double sharp, or just a sharp, uh, just a sharp alone or a flat alone, if uh, you have this natural symbol, it cancels all of those things out, right? So you'll have a natural and you'll just be playing D. The natural sign means if you're playing a D and they have that sign next to it, then you'll be playing just a plain D. If you have it on, let's say, an F here, then you'll just be playing an F. There's no sharps, there's no flats, there's no nothing, right? So that's kind of natural symbols and sharps and flats. Now this is a little bit about some of the stuff that we talked about the other day. Uh, natural minor scales, we've talked about a whole lot about those. Melodic minor scales. I mean, it just kind of shows you what you're doing uh, when you raise the, you know, like with the melodic minor, we raise the 6th and 7th, and uh, then we go back down the exact same way. You know, so it's just kind of something to help you see and understand uh, visually looking at it as far as looking at it actually on music. And I suppose this is more helpful for somebody that is actually, you know, plays piano, plays piano or plays an actual instrument, and knows notes and different things. If you don't know that, it doesn't matter anyways, right? And this is a harmonic minor scale, so we'll be talking about those in the future. So, <clears throat> now note values. Um, what I have here, let's see if I can zoom out. My fingers are kind of cold. So, <clears throat> note values. Hold on. Don't go to any other screen. So we've got a couple different things, and it's not super important for you to understand this just yet. Um, I mean, it'll be useful, and we'll just go into a little bit more detail, but what I wanted to show you was more so the just what the notes look like, right? So we've got a whole note, and a whole note looks like this. It's just a circle, and it goes anywhere on that those bar lines, right? So it can go pretty much anywhere. Um, I mean, it can go anywhere. Same thing with all of these notes. They, the types of notes, half notes, they can go anywhere. Uh, but the purpose of this is uh, that you kind of know what they look like, right? So this is a half note. And the cool thing about a half note is that it looks like this with the line going up based off of where it is on the staff. Um, it can look like this and then also have the line going down, okay? And this is what we call a quarter note. Same thing, can have the line going up or it can have it going down. Just like a half note, just filled in, right? This is what we call an eighth note. An eighth note is just like a quarter note and it just has this line going like this, right? out to the side. Now if the if the line uh, were going down whoa, we just zoomed in a little bit. Okay, so if the line were going down then what would happen is it would go down and then it would curve up um, towards the note. Let me see if I can find one like that. And the reason I'm I'm searching for this again, okay, here we go, right? So the reason I'm searching for this again is because I want you to understand that it's the same type of note, um, it's just looks a little bit different, okay? And then this, what can happen from here? This is an eighth note. What can happen is it can get even even faster. It can be a sixteenth note, and the sixteenth note can do the same thing as this, but it just have another line coming out of it too, okay? So that's a 16th note, and from there it just increases even more to a 32nd note, and I don't even know if there's such thing as a 64th note, but it just can, it continues to increase by doubles as you add, basically every time you add another little flag here on the side of it. So that's kind of some basic information for you. So real quick, we've got the treble clef, the bass clef, the circle of fifths with their uh, major and minor equivalents. We've got uh, sharps and naturals and flats. We've got uh, natural minor melodic minor and harmonic minor scales. Uh, we've got all these different note values which we will talk a little bit more about in the future and what they're worth and different things. I'm um, kind of subjective, that's why we're not talking about it today. We've got 16th notes, uh, eighth notes the other way. So yeah, so I mean that's that's pretty much all of it. I appreciate you guys being here and we'll talk to you guys tomorrow, okay? Bye.